It's English time! Hi, I'm Teacher Mitch. Come and join me as we learn English the easy way. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to keep updated with my latest uploads. Please also share and hit the like button if you appreciate my videos. Thank you! Hello there, grade 9 learners! Your English teacher is back! Today, we will be talking about how to judge the validity of an evidence. Let's begin! Our target most essential learning competency for this video is Judge the validity of the evidence listened to. Oxford Language Dictionary defines validity as the quality or being factually sound, the state of being legally or officially binding or acceptable. To judge the validity of the evidence listened to, you need to employ various skills and understanding of the text. Your values, prior knowledge or schema, or experiences may help you arrive with a correct judgment. In some cases, you will be forced to make decisions or make a stand about an issue or to judge the validity of the evidence you heard from an issue. Listening is probably the most important skill you should possess in order to gather information. To be an effective listener, you must concentrate on hearing and understanding the message, analyzing the message, and then remembering the message. To know if the information presented by the writer is valid or not, you need to extract the supporting pros and opposing cons opinions about the issue. Isa sa pinakamainit na isyu ngayon ang botohan sa pagka-presidente. May mga tao na pro Bongbong Marcos. At the same time, meron ding mga anti-Marcos. Both sides have their own opinions and evidence to present their stand. Now, the information they present may influence you to believe certain ideas and push you to take some form of action. The question is, how to determine if valid ang evidence that were presented? Before that, let us define first evidence and its types. What is evidence? Evidence is the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. Sa Tagalog, ito ay ebidensya. These are the types of evidence. Testimonial, statistical, anecdotal, analogical. Isa-isahin natin ang mga ito. Testimonial evidence. These are statements of truth from a certain person made under oath in a court or testimonies offered to prove the truth of the matter. Statistical evidence These are the result of researches or surveys that can never be proven because of probability or likelihood which is from random sampling. Anecdotal evidence these are collected in a casual or informal manner and relying heavily or entirely on personal testimony. Analogical or a specific way of thinking. It is based on the idea that two or more things are similar in some aspects and that there is a tendency that they are also similar in other aspects. Now, why is it important to determine whether the evidence you listen to is valid or reliable? Just as the quality of research in student papers varies, so does the quality of information in many sources. Here are some tips you may consider when validating evidence. Credentials of the source Is the person qualified to say something about a certain issue? Is he an expert in that particular field? 
you may also want to consider his or her educational background. Or, if it is a written text or a news report, you may check on the writer or the reporter's credentials. Publication Date It's a good idea to look for books published in the last 10 years. On some topics, for example, Shakespeare, the Middle Ages, World War II, it's okay to use books 25 or 50 years old. For a subject that's current, let's say climate change or the internet, a 25-year-old book would be usable only in certain circumstances, like exploring early theories and solutions or studying the ideas leading up to the most recent thoughts on your topic. Check for biases. Is the book an objective source on the subject? Does it look at both sides of an argument, or is it biased in favor of one side only? Information in a biased source may still be useful, but the author may be overstating benefits, overlooking negatives, or otherwise reflecting only one side of an argument. For example, if the author thanks people for the ethical treatment of animals or PETA, in the acknowledgments of a book on veganism, the author may be biased toward convincing people to avoid animal products for ethical reasons rather than reasons based on health or environmental damage. Check the evidence. An author may cite specific studies or other evidence to back up his or her assertions. Authors who list their sources are generally more credible particularly if they reference recent studies or well-known authorities. However, use your judgment. A biased author may have found biased sources and or may have taken information out of context to support a thesis. Look at the author's evidence. Does the author cite specific evidence to back up his or her assertions? Thanks for watching!